vector f vector g are differentiable vector functions of a scalar variable t and phi is a differentiable scalar function of the same scalar variable t now here these two vectors are also the functions of the scalar variable t and phi is also a function of the scalar variable t but phi is a scalar function f and g are the vector functions right then we are having the results number 1 d by dt of sum of the vectors is equal to d by dt of first vector plus d by dt of second vector then we have the difference of them which is d by dt of f minus g is equal to d by dt of first vector minus d by dt of second vector function then we have d by dt of the dot product of the two vector functions which is equal to dot product of first function with derivative of second plus dot product of second function with derivative of the first similarly with the cross product cross product of first function with the derivative of the second plus derivative of the first function and having its cross, cross product with the second right now we have a scalar function phi and d by dt of that phi with f is equal to see there is no dot no cross so this is equal to first function that is your phi d by dt of f vector plus d by dt of phi dot product with f vector so in the first term you don't have any dot you don't have any cross but in the second term you are having the dot product of d by dt of phi with f vector right next theorem is if f vector g vector h vector these are differentiable vector functions of a scalar variable t then we have to prove first d by dt of f vector g vector h vector now here also there is no dot right just f vector g vector h vector so its value is equal to d by dt of first vector then g h plus first vector derivative of second h plus first vector second vector then we have the derivative of the third vector with respect to t this we need to prove and the second one is d by dt of here we are having the cross product of the first vector with cross product of the rest of the two vectors so this is equal to derivative of first function its cross product with cross product of the other functions plus then we have cross product of first function with cross product of derivative of second with h plus then we are having f vector its cross product with g vector cross product dh by dt derivative of the third vector right so first you have to derivate first vector then we are having the cross product in the second term you have to write the first vector its ve its cross product with the other two but you have the derivative of the middle one and then we you have to write first vector cross product then in brackets cross product of second vector with third its derivative right so i have to prove these two results the first one is d by dt of f vector g vector h vector right it's a triple product of three vectors so how to start whenever you are having this uh, triple product of three vectors with their derivative you have to start like this d by dt of first vector its dot product with cross product of the other two vectors this is how we start i'm repeating first vector its dot product with cross product of these two remaining vectors right now we apply the rules which we have read before now this is equal to 
what we are having suppose f vector is your first function and cross product of g and h vector is your second function we have two functions right so we need to write the dot product of these two so what is the d by dt of dot product of two functions this is equal to first function d by dt of second function second function represents the cross product of the two functions then we have d by dt of first function it's dot product with second function quite understood all right in the next step now f vector dot product now what is d by dt of cross product of the two factors this is first function cross product of dh over dt right then we have the derivative of g and its cross product with h i've just apply the rule plus df vector over dt is as it is g vector cross x vector as it is now this is equal to just open the sum you take your f vector the dot product of f vector with the first term then the dot product of f vector with the second term then the third term remaining this is g cross h vector now you just write from how we start see we have dot product of f vector with g cross h and we write f g h now we are having a dot product of f vector with g cross product of g and dh by dt so i write it as f vector g vector dh by dt all right just write it in triple product of these factors then we have dot product of f vector with this so i write f vector dg by dt h vector sorry and third term will be written as df by dt g vector h vector fine so this is equal to i write the third term first that is df by dt g vector h vector then the middle term as it is just to create a nice sequence of the terms and then the first term f vector g vector dh by dt hence the proof all right next we are having now the cross product of the vectors triple product of three vectors now d by dt of this again we have to just follow the rules which we have read before now this is take this as your first function and take this as your second function what is d by dt of cross product of two functions that is equal to yes all right we have first function cross product with d by dt of second function so d by dt of this second function g cross h clear then we have derivative of first function and its cross product with 
the second function that is g cross h clear this step all right now f vector as it is cross product now again we have to apply the rule d by dt of cross product of two functions so this is equal to first function it's cross product with dh by dt plus derivative of first function and its cross product with vector h plus this is as it is df over dt cross product g cross h now taking this cross product with the first term plus cross product of f vector with the second term so you get cross product of f vector with the first term plus cross product of f vector with the second term dg over dt cross h vector plus last as it is df over dt cross product g vector cross h vector hence proof i am writing the third term first so this is df by dt it's cross product with g cross h plus then is the middle term f vector cross product with dg over dt it's cross product with h vector then i'm writing the first term f cross g cross product dh by dt very good very fine this we need to prove all right so this is your second result